All right, so Roman. Yes. I'm 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 waiting for you. Yep. In this heads up battle. Yep. I want you to win it. So mm. I want you to tell me your whole cards every hand and as soon as you have something that I find monstrous that is monstrous, I'm going to tell you to jam all in and if he calls you and you win, you have to buy a steak dinner for me and everybody in the club. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm not a millionaire, remember? I mean, that? I know, I know, I know you can't buy steak dinners on here, and I know anything you do buy will be in the form of pixels, and we won't be able to eat it, but you're gonna find a way. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find a way to buy my avatar a steak dinner. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, right, so. I'll send you a steak uh -oh. uh, email. A steak email, yeah, fuck yeah. I'll download it medium rare. Yeah, exactly. I'll, yeah. I'll a medium rare file, 400 PDF, a little bit of salt and pee. S and SNP file. Um, um, because I'd rather do this heads up real quick with you than a bot. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, uh, sorry, I'm in the middle of a fight with that P uh, gamer guy. Oh, you're heads up with that dude. I yeah. thought you would be heads up with Vita. No. But, uh, dude, I'm impressed. I am impressed. I hope you kick his ass. I don't like this. The speed at which I picked up on a couple of new chips tricks is like unreal. Like, <clears throat> let's see here. Chip tricks skyrocket confidence. I, I figured it out. Woo! Okay, so I don't know how long you're gonna be, and I don't want to leave everybody staring at the screen for too long because I feel like they're already been staring at the screen for too long. That's fine. <laughs> you can go do something. Man. Uh, so I'm gonna jump into a heads up with a bot and explain to people in this custom heads up that I'm setting up um, how to farm the most experience possible out of every hand. Um, because I have a lot of people that ask me on the regular, Hey, you're already level 100. I play every day for hours a day and I'm only like level 30. How did you do it? How come you're so good? What magical hacks or poker magic do you know that I do not? Please teach me, oh lord of the poker world. No, I'm just kidding. People don't say that at all. People usually call me an idiot, but... But I do know my hands, I do know how to play, and I am going to show you guys today how to farm the most out of your game on Poker Club. So if you're ready to learn how to power level, stay tuned, because that's what we're here to do today. So I have gone in to the custom menu. <clears throat> go to the play section of your main tier menus, go to custom. Set it to freeze out and or shoot out. Cash game will open the table. You are going to set your game speed to super turbo because, oh well, it depends. There's two ways to do this. If you have time to set it up on two consoles and two screens and walk away, play yourself on two accounts, then there's a different way to do this. And you could literally walk away for hours, go to bed, wake up, and you'll still be playing fold the blinds to your friend. But today, we're going to set it to unlimited. Line increases we're going to leave alone. Everything we're going to do is... The only thing we're going to do is set heads up on. We're going to turn the bots on. We're going to set my buy-in to, let's say, 2,000. Actually, you yeah, know, let's live dangerously. We'll set it to 10,000. Actually, no, 2,000 I think will represent a better... Better bot activity. And we're going to set the privacy to friends and clubs. So that's what you need to do here is set your privacy to friends and clubs. And make sure that if you set it to heads up on and you're not playing with a friend that your bots are on. Otherwise you could sit in an empty lobby for God knows how long. We're going to apply the filter. I'm going to create the game. Do the buy -in. So, if your hand is good enough to call, you might as well bet. Never give the B 
big blind to free flop. So we are gonna, instead of wait for characters, because we could be waiting all day, we are going to start with AI. Are you still playing that guy? You think you'll have him yeah. in the next four minutes? I doubt it. No? He's got 42 okay. grand, I've got 14 grand. Uh oh. Alright, well if that's the case, then we're gonna jump right into this with some AI. Okay, so before we go any further, I've already got an experience on the top right for being dealt in and being on the small blind. There's 10 experience right there this hand. First thing we're going to do, we don't even have to look at our cards. Now, you don't want to look at your hand here. The whole objective of this is to aggressively re-raise the blind so the robot folds. We've already made 10 experience, plus 10 for the raise. The bot has now folded. Okay, so we are up to 20 experience. Yeah. We show our hands for 50 more. Up to 70. We win the pot, which doesn't give us any experience. However, watch under my name on the top right. I got blind bluff, 250. I got the 5 for beating a player. I got 5 for being dealt in again. I got 10 more for the big blind ante of the next hand. So, you get 250 experience every time you re-raise this bot, which I'm just going to keep doing. Raise. The bot's going to continue to fold unless it has two face cards or a, a medium range pair. But 9 times out of 10, Fold. it folds. As you can see. Yes. Now again. <laughs> We show him the cards for the 50 experience. We sit back for a second, take in the blind. And if you look at the top right, yet again, it will give me blind bluff because in heads up, either both of you are on the blinds at all times. Plus, I just got the 25 experience that hand for a win streak. So again, don't look at the hand right. because you're going in blind, you bluff blind. He's going to look at his hand. He's going to fold. Mm, fold. Again, I'm going to take the blinds. Again, I'm going to get the 50 <laughs> yeah. experience for showing the cards. And again, I'm going to get the pot and the bluff blind. Occasionally, a bot will call you. A bot might even get tired of your shit after you've done this to it 15 or 20 times in a row and aggressively start to re-raise you. It does happen. Um, in tournament play, especially the heads-up tournaments like Big Kahuna, Mano a Mano, when you are up against a bot, the bot's blinds get low enough, it will start to jam. Most of the time, you can just out-jam it. I'm at 20k. <laughs> There you go. Again, multiple hands in a row now. We have forced this bot out of... Yes, get in. It's blind. You can usually win... I don't know. I've won 21 hands in a row at one point against a bot heads up at the end of a tournament. Multi-table tournament doing this to it. It had a 3-1 to one chip lead when I went heads up with this bot at the end of the tournament. Um, over a period of an hour, I pushed this bot out of its blinds. Oops, I called by accident. We are going to go to the fucking flop, looks like. I hope he raises so I can hard re-raise. Check raise. Come on, re-raise me. Yeah, fuck yeah, he raised me. That was a pretty aggressive raise. He, uh, might not fold this re-raise. Let's find nice. out. We're going to bet four. We're going to four... We're going to bet four times his raise. I don't know how many blinds that is. At this point, I've lost count. But he folded. Yet again. Even when they're aggressive, for the most part, you can be a bit more aggressive. The only thing he's going to constantly be raising me with at this point is like pocket jacks, pocket queens, ace king, aces, kings. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Taken in the blinds, taken in the pots, taken in the raises. Now, if you have a friend at home, or you have two control, two accounts, two systems, you can set it up so that in your settings here, 
it auto mucks. So you just throw your cards away, it doesn't give you an opportunity to claim the 50 experience per hand, but it speeds up the process, especially when you've got it set to sur super turbo. You can sit across from yourself cool. with two accounts, and you can just fold out the blinds to each other for hours and power level your account. Um, my wife's account is level 70, she's never played a hand of poker on her account on poker stars ever because we use it in the club to help people speed level farm experience learn how to play heads up poker and do walkthroughs uh which is another thing if anybody wants to learn how to better play hands how to better play poker how to just play poker in general don't be afraid to reach out and ask when i have the time i am more than willing to talk about this game teach people how to play it, explain to the people the actions that I make and behaviors that I have within the game. How, you know, um, because if you think you're going to be good at poker and you just jump into a game of poker and start playing like the pros do and trying to, and trying to play like the pros do, you're going to lose a lot of money. And you're going to lose a lot of money very fast. <laughs> I'm on an imposed break. I, uh, I called this bot and I'm not even looking at my uh, my screen, I'm reading my chat, and I'm playing this hand blind. I haven't really looked at my screen, I don't know what I have. I don't know what he raised. Um, we're gonna we're gonna stick with my aggressive re-raise method here and see if it works. And guys, don't forget, if you're playing on um, computers, uh, this uh, two boxing it way works. that Taco is talking about works. Uh, what you can do is open two separate instances of uh, club poker uh, yes. and then sign in <laughs> on each one with a different account and then go back and forth. Uh, so it doesn't you... matter that we are on console. It, it works either way. It doesn't matter um, yeah, it what works. platform you're playing on. Awesome. Good to good to know. Thank you for throwing that out there. Also, as well, you don't need two TVs. Like me and my wife have two consoles on two TVs side by side. You don't need that. You need you do need two consoles, but your one TV needs to have two HDMI ports and you need two cables so that you can have two systems hooked up to two different HDMI channels on your TV, and then you can jump back and forth between the HDMI channels and you can play heads up poker against yourself. So you could literally set two accounts up on one TV to play heads up against yourself and walk away for the night and power level both your accounts. So, anything that you would like to add that you feel like I might have missed in this little endeavor nope. there, Roman? No, nope, not, not that I could think right. of. So, it's been a fun little lesson. Um, I hope this helps a lot of new players. I hope this helps you fine tune your game power level and get that experience i hope you have learned how to better abuse yeah. the system i'll be right when it comes uh, to the bots Paco, i'll be right back my controller battery is low i gotta switch controllers yeah man do your thing um thank you for letting me know um also you guys this method does not work on multi ai tables with multiple bots this method only works against a bot in heads up. You can manipulate and be aggressive on tables and push a lot of bots around, but your chances of success significantly lower. Um, and you win a lot more hands this way. I don't know if you noticed, but I've won fucking every hand at this table so far. <laughs> um, so there you have it, everybody. That's your farming of the bots and power leveling video. I hope it has helped. I hope you guys enjoyed yes. it. I hope the stupid bot across from me gets a new hat someday. I agree. <laughs> I want that. Like, hey, I want one of those hats, man. Uh, one second, I'm gonna read my chat here. Kingdom Light, being super lazy today. I need to start early, but I'm just chilling, supporting tons of people right now. That's the way to do it, man. I love chilling on Twitch. I have so many people out there that I support. Some of you are here right now. I've, I, I love, I love camping in all your streams. I've always got two streams.